Howdy friends, welcome back. So, I got the 350QX back yesterday. I did a quick video on it. Um, I will upload that soon, as soon as it's done. Um, had a little technical issues with it. But, when I got the Turnergy Multistar Motors from Hobby King. Let's see if we can get you right there. When I got these guys, I did the uh, quick review on them. Did a little thrust test, um, and I had some requests to do a side by side comparison once I got my 350QX back from Horizon. So, what I have is I've got all the 350QX stock motors off, and that little thrust test that I did, we're going to go ahead and do it with the stock motors. Um, we're actually going to do a full side by side. Um, so I'm going to do the stock motors first, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch everything over and do the turn energy motors. But what I got is I have wires everywhere, is what I have. I have the stock 350 motor mounted onto one of the motor mount discs for the SK450 frame from Hobby King. And now, if you can see that. I have the extreme production carbon fiber prop. I actually have it upside down so that it's pushing down against the scale. Um, <coughs> now you make sure you when you hook up to your speed controller, and I'm just I've just got it hooked up to a uh, Turnigy 18 amp plush ESC. Uh, the bullet connectors are a little bit loose. I use four millimeter connectors on all my ESCs, and of course the blades are 3.5 millimeters. Um, so it's a little loose. Um, I've got just a little piece of uh, foam tape on there covering them, holding everything together um, so mm. that they don't come apart, short out. Um, so uh, when you make when you hook your ESC up, ESC up, make sure it's spinning the right rotation. And so what you're looking for here's the stock props. Of course, you're you're going up. That means you know she's pulling up. You know, flip around. So they're pushing down and make sure that that leading edge is going in that proper rotation. Um, quick safety note. If you are going to do this, if you want to do the thrust test, um, you can do it. <clears throat> Just be careful because you are going to run this motor up to full RPM. Um, so when you do it you want to do it in an area that doesn't have stuff that can be blown around um, you want to make sure that your motor and mount where did that one you want to make sure that everything is tight and that your everything is properly secured down um, you know like I said on this I have the motor mount is actually secured to the scale with um, double-sided tape um, <clears throat> I could go and I could put some pieces across the top of the mount um, having done this before I'm fairly secure in the knowledge that that's not going to go anywhere um, and as long as it doesn't blow stuff around it gets caught up in the blade uh, really you don't want the blade to come off because uh, if it comes off and strikes you that's going to be really bad okay you're gonna have a bad day so the DX5 is on. Let's go ahead and hook up our flight battery. Fully charged uh, 2700 milliamp Electron Pro. The upgraded batteries for the 350QX. Okay, <clears throat> and we're going to turn the scale on. Now, the last time I did this, um, I realized that you cannot see the readout. From the LCD screen on the scale in my camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to position the camera so that you can see the run up um, so that you know I'm not bullshitting you. Um, and then you're just going to have to take my word on the, the thrust. We have cleared the area of debris. 
nothing's going to be flying around. So let's go ahead and do the run up. Now at the same time, I have our sound meter over here. I don't know how well it's going to do, but I'm going to put it right next to the scale. Uh, we have a bass just because of me talking, uh, like right around 60 decibels. So we're going to go ahead and power this thing up and see what she does. So, full throttle, we got like 90 some odd decibels there, which you're going to get from the wind from the propeller. Um, the thrust, we got one pound, seven ounces on the thrust. Um, not too, not too shabby. I think if I remember correctly, the thrust the last time on the, um, on the Trinity Multi-Star setup, was somewhere in the neighborhood of one pound nine ounces I think we're gonna do it again right now so it doesn't really matter what it was I have no idea what the hell that was so we're gonna take our tape and just to get it to sit flush I'm taking and so we've got three layers of tape um, just because of the screws right there. Okay. So set that back down and hook up our bullet connectors. And once again we're gonna make sure that this is spinning the proper direction and we're just gonna give it just a little bit of It would help if I hooked the flight battery up. Okay. She's spinning the right direction, so we're going to go ahead and secure the bullet connector. So there's our setup. Making sure everything is secured and clear of debris. So we're going to go ahead and move her back down over here. Alright, Trinity Multi-Star, Blade 350QX replacement, scale is zero, well, scale is zero. I don't know what happened. So let's go ahead and try that again. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that was, why it started cutting out like that. However, damn camera, stay there. Um, I did get a, a really good reading. I got one pound ten ounces off the uh, Trinity Multi Stars. So, for the same amperage, off the same ESC. with the same props the Trinity Multi-Star is going to give you more thrust uh, than the stock 350QX motor um, I just I, another thought now I mean you can go back and listen of course um, to both motors run up 
you're going to hear that the turns you motor is a little bit quieter than the uh, stock motor. Um, <clears throat> of course, both of them show 94 decibels. Um, that's just because of the prop, because of the wind. Um, I honestly think that the Eternity Multi-Star is a little bit better motor um, than the stock motor. Of course, that's why we buy upgraded parts. Um, you know, we want things to fly a little bit better than they than they originally came to us. It is what it is. Uh, so once again, HelliPartsDirect.com. These guys right back here, right there. You can get the uh, extreme carbon fiber props from Extreme Productions, as well as the uh, aluminum prop adapters from Small Parts CNC. Everything's right there at HeliPartsDirect.com. Just click the tab at the top, the multi-rotor uh, tab, blade, e-flight, and uh, it'll bring you up to all the uh, all the upgraded parts that HeliParts Direct has for the uh, 350QX. Um, the Trinity Multi-Star Motors, available from HobbyKing.com. The links are going to be in the description below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. I don't know which side it's on. Uh, I'm looking at everything backwards in my viewfinder. So, until next time, we'll see you around.